Hello everybody! Watch this video to find out how to recover data from a RAID 5 based on a Buffalo NAS storage device model TS5400D. These days, many users and companies experience the need to store large amounts of data used in their everyday work. For this purpose, they use NAS systems allowing them to manage and store this data. Typically, network-attached storage systems make use of the RAID technology that enables them to organize data in a convenient way and improve the storage reliability. Such storage systems let them keep the data intact even if one or several hard disks fail, and this depends on the specific RAID level. However, even with RAID technology applied, data can be lost due to unexpected system failures, NAS breakdown or user errors. In today's video, we will explore the steps required to recover information from a RAID 5 system built on a Buffalo TS5400D NAS. This video tutorial will help you to restore the lost data in a quick and safe way, and then proceed with your work as if nothing happened. To get a general idea of how data is stored inside a RAID, let's see how to create it on this specific network storage device. To access it with administration panel, start NAS Navigator. Find your device on the list and right-click on it. Then choose Open Settings. Otherwise, open a web browser and enter the IP address of your storage device in the address bar. After that, go to Drives. Then click on the RAID tab. And access the settings for Array 1. In the window that opens, select the disks for the future array. Look up to choose the RAID level and then click Create RAID Array. This will start the process of building the array, followed by disk resyncing. It can be really long, since everything depends on the size and read-write speeds of the disks involved. Wait until the process is complete. When the disks are combined into an array and resynced, you can create a shared folder and add some files there. After that, access the file sharing settings. To add a new directory, open Folder Setup and then click Create Folder. In the Shared Folder Settings window that opens, give its name and other attributes. Check the boxes for required network protocols. And click OK. Now the shared folder will be available on the network and you'll be able to write data to the disks. The network attached storage is now ready for work. In the shared folder settings, there is an option called Recycle Bin, which can help you to restore any data you accidentally deleted from this NAS. All you have to do is to open the Recycle Bin folder and access the previously deleted files. If the files you are looking for are missing from the bin or this feature is disabled, you can restore the files with the data recovery tool. If the network attached storage doesn't work, you lost access to the network drive, or the RAID is crashed, you need a specialized tool to retrieve the important files from your NAS. Hetman RAID Recovery will rebuild the damaged RAID with the available hard disks, so that you'll be able to get the lost data back. This program supports all popular RAID types and most file systems. You can use it to recover data from Buffalo NAS systems as well as from devices by other manufacturers including Synology, QNAP, and other popular storage system brands. It can also help you rebuild a damaged RAID if the NAS or its controller is broken, and do it even if one or several disks within the array are out of order. You'll be able to restore critical information which is still on the disks and achieve it even without actually using the NAS. To start the recovery process, take the disks out of the storage device and connect them directly to the motherboard or Windows computer. If your motherboard lacks setup ports to connect all the disks, or you have a similar problem uh, involving power connectors, you can solve the problem by using special expansion cards and adapters, which are now displayed on the screen. When the disks are connected, run the data recovery tool. It will automatically rebuild the damaged RAID system with the available disks and display it in the program's window. Below, you will see detailed information on the RAID, which is just rebuilt. 
to start searching for files, run the disk scan. Right-click on the volume and select Open. Choose the search type, Fast Scan or Full Analysis. For starters, we recommend a fast scan. The utility will promptly analyze the disks and display all the files it can find. This scan type will help you find the files in most cases. As you can see, the program has easily found all the files still remaining on the disks within the array. It also displays the previously deleted files, which are marked with the red cross. You can check the contents of all files in the preview window. Select all the items you want to recover and click the Recovery button. Choose the disk and folder where to save the data. When the process is over, you will find the recovered files in the folder you have chosen. If this scan type can't find the required files, then go for full analysis. To do that, go back to the program's main window, right-click on the disk and choose Analyze again, Full Analysis. Specify the file system for this disk and click Next. In the most complicated cases, we recommend searching for files by their contents, and you can do it by checking the box next to Content Aware Analysis. To quickly find a specific file, there is a search by name feature. Also, this utility lets you save a copy of the entire disk and then work on it instead of addressing the actual disk all the time. Such feature allows you to protect the disk data from being overwritten, from an accidental disk failure or from other mistakes that users could make. Recovering data from RAID 5 on a Buffalo TS5400 DNS can be a challenging thing to do, but if you follow the instructions and choose the right data recovery tool, you'll be able to get the lost files back. It should be noted that users should be very careful when recovering data from RAID and be sure not to take any steps that may result in overwriting or modifying the data stored on its disks. The best solution is to work with a copy of the disk array so that the original data cannot be lost in the process. Generally speaking, a RAID data recovery utility is a must-have tool for any administrator who takes care of data integrity in their storage system. With such utilities, you'll be able to restore access to the storage quickly and safely, and then recover the mission-critical data even if your NAS is out of order or its RAID array is damaged. And that is all for now. Hopefully this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments under this video to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck.